What are you right now? Potential nonsense. Big Papa is finally here. Ladies and gentlemen, it is absolutely time. As you can see, we have all three blue slots. And as I promised you guys, I have a funny, wacky build. Now, I'm wondering what you guys guessed what is going to be the triple blues now there's a couple options you can do here i think triple stalker's blade is one if you want to try to clear the field right he's a big six drop comes down we already saw the magical powers of the triple bucklers berserkers buckler right and i think for people they would want for gnosis they would do the triple curator's gate breaker right have him come out and when you play him you strike the nexus three times which is not that bad of a thing right i, I, I can get behind that but what if we don't do what's most expected? I think most people would guess that. But what I'm actually going to do is triple Bounty Hunter's Renown. I want to see how big I can get him financially. I might actually have to do this on an ASO run because I feel like you'll earn more money in an ASO run. And Lissandra's run is probably not as expensive. But the goal here is we're going to call this the money run. Um, so whenever I want to do this, it's probably smarter. Um, I already know this. It's probably smarter to do this on a cheaper champion. Six cost makes literally no sense. I'm thinking that probably be better on like a Teemo run or something like that. And we don't spend any money during the entire run. This is going to be called the money run. So we're going to see how big we can get Gnosis in the hand and then hopefully drop him on six. But I'm going to be looking for anything to reduce his cost. I'm going to be looking for anything, but I can't spend money, which is great because uh, the champion power or anything like that are normally um, in the shops and you'd have to spend money to get them so we can only go to like champion stuff we can only that's the only thing that we can go for champion stuff so this is gonna be so super fun I hope you guys are interested in seeing this and I could probably try the curious gatebreaker let me know if you guys want to see triple curated gatebreaker or maybe even triple plunder I don't think I have triple plunder. I only have one plunder I could buy another one from the shop but I, I didn't feel like buying it but let me know what you guys feel uh, as far as like triple something I, I like to do these triples I think they're pretty hilarious so let's go into it if you guys don't know what he does i'll go over it quickly you know as he guys get slays the unit on the field will get plus two plus two we slay a bunch of things we sort of send this he can go up to level three and then we are granting this is just the wackest one strong rent minus one on the strongest enemy round start it would be better i don't know it's trash anyway so let's have some fun money gnosis and without further ado I don't know. These invokes might might be the might be the way. Quicksand also, more quicksand seems good. We'll get the uh, other thing and then we will silence. I'm so fucking bad. Oh my god. Whew. Oh my god. I'm so bad, dude. I'm so bad for. Ooh. Oh my god. Life and death and it, that's the one with Rally. As the only one I couldn't have killed. And now I lose. I don't know if you guys, I've never had it where it actually the matchmaking fit. I'm playing PvE. <laughs> What's going on? So I feel like I have to hope that he gets like some type of. It's just, it's just that combo is too much for me. And I lose again. That combo is actually too much for me, which is kind of nuts. All right, that's two losses right in the very beginning. I'm getting shafted. Let me tell you, I'm gonna just show, like the, I showed the little snippets of it, but they're not giving me anything for my troll run. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. I, I, I can't even run Starto because I, I'm getting jerked. So I, I'm, I'm not even gonna be able to start off with a good power. I, both times I started off with a crazy power and I just get dicked and I have to go do another run, and just so you guys, I'm fully transparent here. I then do another run. Uh, I change up Gnosis's things, 
then give him uh, so I went to and then I went back and then I do another run so I, I don't have the luxury to keep doing that so it just might be that this is just just cheeks a little and they keep giving me champions with that thing dude what the hell um, I need something like very early uh, Caitlyn is was really good for me um, I, I she was the one that I used in the other one she was really good because she actually helps with a little bit of slays a little bit even though that's not okay we got the purple I guess I, I like to take the mana flow one it, it, the only reason I know why people don't take it is because it goes away so it's pretty much you don't have a good thing we get the gold one so for every two so we're, we're really strong here but I'm trying to stay with the thing I, I can't spend money so all things I now know this these, that's a too crazy of a combo um, I actually have to just go where I can actually win <laughs> I can't the gross phase of plus three percent yeah so they scale and then this one I can't do I just lost to that as well I have to go where I'm accepted at this point Caitlyn in the hand means we'll very likely to get the guy we'll also be able to play Caitlyn on turn one Nasus should we should get Nasus so he should be at 10 10 actually 12 12 sorry my math is mapping dude what is these like <laughs> <laughs> like, just it's so annoying like the 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 scaling of some of the stuff that they're doing is so annoying one mana five four because of the the thing and then he gets another one in hand never see me coming. this one was created wait I, I i guess i'm misunderstanding how this works uh the full grass the lowest cost unit in their hand plus three plus three which is this one then creates an exact copy. Okay, so it, it took a copy of this and made it, or whatever. Yeah, I, I, I do understand it, but yeah. I think we, we get more out of doing this. And then I can trade. They lose their elusive, but I think that they can just still make another elusive, which is annoying. We'll play this first. And a lot of the these fights, now he has permanent elusive. Uh, I have no way to. Like the biggest problem I have with most of the fights is that they have like very cheap stuff and they're stalling. Everything's frailier. This is it happens to be an Ionia fight, but everything's like mostly frailier, so they're just stalling. And like their stall is just better than your stall, pretty much. Like what is that? Oh, nice. That's a pretty good. Is inevitable. I will make it beautiful. Uh, sure, if you can. Okay. Um. He can actually do that again, so I have to play something that's stronger than that, or he just recalls it, pretty much. Sand and trouble, far Plus it has this. I don't know if that's GG or not. That's a lot of damage. Details are key. My desert, my rules. We got Nosses next turn, but he's going to have so much work to do. Oh my god, man. And it's crazy because wait is that the, that's the cheapest thing in his hand is three? Oh, that makes it stronger. Um, so she takes less damage. If he has like a raw recall, I'm so screwed. Cause I don't know. I feel like Gnosis is gonna have a hard time in Losandra fight because, like, from what I've seen so far, it's like they either gonna freeze him. There's a couple fights that he just gets frozen immediately uh, if they have recalls or anything like that. Like he just gets screwed. My gifts cannot be refused, for they are not given. I think we just bonk, bonk to oblivion at this point. Whatever has the highest attack, we just kill it. Who 
boosted up something else. He's out of mana now. Get that out the way. We can block most of the damage here. She's getting pretty strong herself. How do you still have that? Have you been like boosting that up behind my back, bro? I'll take the four. Uh, she's becoming much stronger and she's elusive. So that's pretty good. But he can always put the problem is that he has these three things and that would bounce her back in hand. She would lose all the buffs that she currently has. So that just seems like a waste. Yep, bounce it back. I will make it beautiful. Two mana for three, though, is not bad. I just want to make sure he doesn't have any more of the... Uh... I don't, like, he, he can't have any more, like, elusives is my, is my issue. All right, so he does that. I could actually have countered that. It's fine. Uh, and then I think we play Caitlyn now. Bottom the trail. The artist, the stage, the actor, the grave. I wish it actually told you which one. I, know, I think it's coming from that one. If I'm not mistaken. There it is, Fizzle. So... One step ahead. We still got some more killing to do. I have to keep this as a blocker, though. We got to we got to kill as many things as we can. I think we're out of the elusive nonsense spam. We still have uh things to Yeah, we just play unit for unit now. Sun's beneath me and wind's behind me. We make a copy of the watcher. That's actually bad for me, because I don't have any additional champion in the deck. Notified patrol to close in on this wow. Nice welcome. Wow. Gotta love that AI, bro. What is that? Uh, I'll take it, though. So, two kills. So, if I can get a kill here, here... He levels, and then everything becomes weaker. I will run you over. That's why the damage is going down by like so much. Your time is done. What is it actually? It's minus three. So I think I can get that, and then we block the deck. <laughs> Hello there. three, and that's only him. Uh, then that should be like nothing. We're good. We get another one. Woo, child. What is this, man? That stupid animation. Oh, All right. Can he? I can kill the watchers, actually. Funny enough. Wow, I'm so bad. Well, not really, but I should have. I just realized I, I probably should have just kept it one in the hand. If I could get. I need some draw at this point. Notified patrol to close 
in on this location. We'll prepare him a nice welcome. Oh wait, I can kill him. I can kill him. I can kill him. I can just drag him. Would you wish to learn? You do that. You have fun with that, sir. Karina, what brings you here? Business and pleasure, Cheryl. Yeah, what he says. All right, we pull him in. No, I have to worry. Yo, these watchers are dying. Videos, the video, bro. Can he kill? Yes, he can. Not too much attack on their side of the field. Can we get some hits? How did he get this again? Wait, he just, it, he's, he, he, does he just keep getting it? Has 10 mana chance, any attack. Oh, I, I did absolutely nothing. <laughs> I did nothing. He might not attack with it, though. But, yeah, I didn't do anything. I don't have many cards in my deck to begin with. All great. He still might not attack, though. He, he attacked. He, he attacked. I think we just go with this. Caitlyn's gone. I lost the... I, I thought, like... And since, like, they keep getting stats, it's so annoying. Stupid animation. Uh, he only has two cards. 17 cards left in his deck somehow. Jesus Lord. Um, they all are uh, uh, enough to block a fearsome, which is very annoying. I don't know. Maybe we get we get lucky here. Arena, what brings you here? Business. That thing said nine. And it weakens them a little bit. So my 11. We put everything crazy to the left. And, oh no, he can't. Oh no, he can't block this. So full clear. Another watcher. The strongest thing got minus one, so I only lose one there. And the last thing on my deck is a bonk. We actually went on one HP. What the hell? Oh my god! One HP, no cards in the deck. But I should, I still could have played that right. Look, we could just get the buried sun this right in the beginning. Oh my Jesus Christ! I don't even want to waste rerolls here. Just one, I guess. That's bad too. Whatever. We'll just take the cheap cost unit. Spells, chess. Add two copies of a spell, I guess. Maybe this might do something. I feel like this is better, though. Six unit plus an obliterate might, might be a little bit better. I can't do this fight, bro. Both I am inevitable. 
he steals my cards and, and I, 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 I can't do it. Pretty decent hand. They scale up pretty quickly. I mean, he's 15-15. We just need to get there, baby. He doesn't really have elusive, though. Maybe they give me a... That's annoying. What a obnoxious... And this one, it creates it two yetis in a deck. You don't even know where they are, but like, he'll draw them. Yeah. Oh no, that's a different yeti. Alright, so... 6-6, six, six, obviously we have to block that, right? Do I have a jeeper play? You can block that and get the slay. Notified patrol to close in on this location. Oh, even better. Nice welcome. I am inevitable. Gotcha. Notified patrol. And I have Caitlyn. What is? <laughs> what is what's, what's going on? Oh my god. And I have Caitlyn. I, I can't I can't make this up, bro. I really can't. There he is. I hate that guy. I should have actually sa saved mana for being able to use this. I might have to use this. They don't have overwhelm, which is like an absolute blessing. I do think we might have to blow this. Come on, bro. They and they just have like these crazy random ass cards, man. Stealing my cards. Sorry. Wrong turn. Uh like nab is gross. Cause like if you put some good stuff on your cards, then you're like you just get screwed pretty much. We're nowhere close to leveling him. I just think, I actually don't know what build would be good for him. Like in general, I'm obviously trolling, but. The wheel never stops turning. I forgot about that. Just for shits and giggles. Does she have I am inevitable? She does. Like, <laughs> it's just, they won't let me win, bro. I can't can't stall this any longer than I can. They don't want me to play this. Uh, Gnosis needs a completely different build. I probably need to. I, I can't even do like Starlets, whatever. Starforge Gauntlets. I can't do that. Like this, all this is just too slow. Like I don't see how I can win this run. I don't. And you guys know when I'm cocky, I'm cocky. But I don't. I don't see it, man. I really don't see it. I'm like all this Caitlyn stuff. I don't think it, I can even use it. Cause it's just gonna like zap and make things stronger. I need these cards. That's fair. Alright, he got reduced. He hasn't played a Yeti yet, so you know, bless that. Gives us a free trade. We'll take that. Oh dear. Who's gonna close up? I keep my spell mana open at this point. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. Our behavior. 
Doesn't block it. Love that. It was right on my tail. He's getting the Yetis. They're all stronger now, but I'm... They stalled for some reason this entire time. And now we should be fine. That was all their mana. I swear to God, steal, steal, steal something, steal something crazy, bro. Okay. It's like they're listening to me. Obliterate. Oh, obliterates is the bee's knees, dude. Technically, I think that would be a good obliterate, but I can still siphoning strike afterwards. So I think you would siphoning strike. Doesn't matter which one I siphoning strike, but we'll do the one with the most like attack. I'm gonna get a card in our hand. I feel like this might be good. Like our hand is okay, but we might need to replace it. This is also good too, as a removal. Obliterate, so none of his units get the buff. I had a feeling he might have some slow speed thing to piss me off. That's still fine. I feel like we just keep the mana, honestly. Like, kind of let him play out his things. I think we can attack like this. This unit is going to get the buffs. Right, and then through death, We're, we could scale higher than them, and anything that they get that's crazy, I could just use this on it. Love that! I, I love that they have those. It's like literally my favorite thing. This guy gets stronger. I want to bounce him back in the deck, I honestly do. Because the whole aspect of stealing my things is just gross. The overwhelm unit, that's the kind of units that I, I actually want to bounce back. Uh, I think we're fine here, though. Steals one of my cards. Alright, so... Gotta be careful when we kill. I definitely want to kill that. And then we bless the top unit. Reduce. Reduce. So we can just block them. The block. And then this is just a free kill. So we definitely get some blessings here. course we have to open attack now because he keeps freezing me he's he's running out of cards though this too shall end. we can protect that if we need to I don't I just want this as a blocker you boss. does that kill that it does I want to keep my units alive if I can I I uh, no I didn't need to do that we stretch it out. They're getting stronger, but we're getting stronger too. Though every unit he plays is better, but it's fine. And then... Just play units. He's out on cards. And if he drops an overwhelm unit, that's a problem. We just throw it back in his deck, like as he's attacking, obviously. And we take any slaves that we can possible. I hate that card. It bothers me so much. 
Because he could just... Okay, so he just decides not to use it, but... Alright, um, the Obliterate would be amazing. And we could just use this elusive damage here. Um, let's pull him, though. Okay. What are we at? Seven? This is eight. This is nine. And then we just chill out, right? Actually, no. We could uh, pull one. Pull this guy. That's GG. I, I wasn't even looking for GG, honestly. I'm like so traumatized right now if we're actually going to be able to win. <laughs> I'm trying to like get the level up the stall. It's insane. We beat that encounter somehow. This is literally the farthest I've gotten, which is past two runs. Like, oh, sorry, two fights. So, and this is what I'm offered. Uh, thank you. Uh, I mean, I guess, because it's her champion spell as well. This actually, you know what? That might be better because it's a free kill on possibly a Poro. And then we have this one where they just summon a one cost Poro and it becomes huge. Seeker's Hidden by Frost is definitely the weakest power, though. But I think I lose my boost now, right? I don't have the free mana gem for the first three battles, right? So now I lose my boost. Um, we just need early game units because they don't really have overwhelm. I don't think th is there overwhelm poor? I don't think so But now uh, flash bombs and stuff like that is gonna be good. What are you right now? I Think the poor thing will work because you see like it doesn't activate like immediately uh, Let's see Technically that's good is it when he attacks with the Poro or just when he attacks? Just when he attacks. Summon an ephemeral copy of me. That's crazy. He just got like a jillion Poros. Blew out his hand though. Come on, I need them good hits, man. One step ahead. Always chasing after this one. Huh? I think do we just go wide? That's new. You're provoking it. Well, we'll find you some friends. He's going wide. He, he also can't attack with like everything either. That's a free slay. Turning yourself in. That's just too strong. That, that's like. He's gonna get another one, right? Let's see. That's a slay. This actually summons the Poro. Kill that has overwhelm. I think we just go for kills here, though. 
I think if he has another Poro sled though, I think don't we just lose? Without Poro snacks, that's like the only thing that he has. And then we'll be able to just, I guess it, it really depends on if he has another one of that. If he does, he didn't use it. It's smarter to do it this way. Cause it gets, everything gets reduced. So we have two strong blockers for the Poro Sled and the unit it summons. Never stops turning. We do get Frostbitten in the beginning of the round though. So that is gonna suck, but he's still a good blocker as long as the thing doesn't have Fearsome or something. Again, he's going wide. That's why we, we need to go just as wide. Like they don't have another attack, so it's not the craziest thing in the world. But I will be losing a pretty good blocker here. Uh, uh, like, strong blocker. And turn? I have to take that. We get more spell mana, pretty much. And now I'm not frostbitten. Before anything stupid happens. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. He has to block. I did that in the wrong order. I did that in the wrong order. Ugh. How are we coming back, bro? He just like stopped. I mean, I think he's this doesn't he didn't we lucked out and he doesn't have Poro Sled. I feel like that's exactly what's going on right now. We all He has Poros. We know he has one cost Poros. I get frozen again. Caitlyn with the snipe. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. They, do they not have um interesting reaction? I'll make a note. Say, I could draw uh, draw one drop here. This is irrelevant. Excuse us. I will it on you over. Great and dumb. Like you waited too long. The impact is annoying, though. Is that why? Is the AI messed up with the Plunder Poro? That could be a thing. The Plunder Poro messes it up. So we counter him just by leveling up a little bit. So the money actually worked in our favor. Get me out. 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 <laughs> I'm so done. Whoo! Cute as that Kindred is, it would, uh, I think it would screw us up a lot. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm drawing my Gnosis. He's like the only thing I, I really have built on right now. So I think we just take the Destin Poro here may or may not help us so a power versus healing now she who wonders when the foe precise the nexus granted minus two if it had four less power blood rated frost gathers this uh, honestly is pretty in our favor right we need to survive to get Gnosis on the field do I I feel like the power might what power am I looking for it's it's I have two rerolls. I only have seven HP. I obviously could just spend. I no, I can't spend money, so it would have to be a regular heal, right? I'm just that's my challenge. I'm not spending money, so I, I won't spend money to heal. So, I think a power. If I got a really good one, maybe to reduce 
something that they're doing or like like stun round start um or frostbite round start could help out credit cards cost less is not going to do anything i need i think the power is better i know we have no hp but so we get frostbite round start when you summon an ally grant its power uh, keywords to all allies so I don't really have too many. Like, elusive is nice. Um, we have many little elusives, but we don't really have too many crazy things here. This guy, dropping this one, it has tough and tough, overwhelm, and spell shield. And this other thing also has overwhelm as well. So I can actually end up giving my Gnosis overwhelm if I take this. But is that win more? Is this better to take because it would actually stall out the fight long enough for me to win? I think so. I also have two rerolls, and I don't know if I'll be able to get better than these two things. I think we take the frostbite. Hold them off. I think I think that's a smart play. I could be wrong. I think that's a smart play. No, I am inevitable here, right? So technically, it's not the worst thing in the world to have. But what you get minus three, or is it no? It's minus two. And then they have other things that make you lose more HP as it goes on. I'll blow back one, Caitlyn. We we don't we definitely are past the point of losing our thing. A chill in the air. He goes first as well. So you know I don't mind losing. Guess it'd have to be this, right? I actually don't, I've did this fight like once. And I do, now I do remember that it ha they have that uh, overwhelm. It's not overwhelm, that I have, all my units have vulnerable. Thanks, bro. What an amazing guy. He's just a blocker at this point, so. You will all know fear. Relax. He's literally gonna just block. Um, this has enough attack, right? Smart. Smarty McSmartison. Alright, so I was I was hoping it let's let this one die. But we could take the trade here. Peacemaker protocol. Okay, that's good. Good draw. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. Tremble, he approaches. Four. Damn it, not strong enough. After the minus three. Four is not bad. So now those units can't. I think we're fine. Ah, oh, that's sneaky. 
because I, I didn't I didn't silence it. That's pretty much it. So I can't block with them. Now he gets frozen. Interesting. Caitlyn is left to wither, unfortunately. All right, so you can attack with that. Maybe it might, it might not be that bad. Get rid of that. And Tomb is wild. Oh, that helps me out. Appreciate you, bro. I am the chosen of the storm himself. Observe the price of ambition. The winds of change blow. Hasn't drawn his his mega card, which is great. Saving the uh Destin Poro here for potential nonsense. Big Papa is finally here. We and Tillman. They ain't doing nothing, bro. They ain't doing Jack Diddley. I'll take my ability to block back, though, bro. Appreciate you. Life and death How are we coming back right now is, is beyond me. So now we can block. Now you can't attack. Caitlyn's back. Yes, sir. I do need to kill this, though. This thing is uh, kind of annoying. This too shall end. After them. Let's investigate. Go with a nice open attack before he does any nonsense. Like that. Hmm. Do I capture that? I feel like I have to capture it. And just like leave it. Let homeboy just chill out a little bit. This is on Gnosis. I eh, might as well. Oh yeah, we leveled. So now we got a little bit more keywords. Okay, we got another Destin Poro. Oh, with four. Oh, that's gonna screw you up, buddy. Not me. Oh, I, I lose this. Damn. Does that work on his stuff too? <laughs> Damn, buddy. I don't. I don't know if that was the move. I don't know if that was the move. Oh no. Let's see, suit up maybe. Gone, we don't get count for that. Then we just open attack here. Once I get something, nope. What is going on right now, dude? Holy Ava! I'm just kidding. Um draw a unit, yeah, that's too good. So yeah, mind meld, you spend HP, which I don't have, to uh, do that. The HP ones were gonna be good for me, but unfortunately, no mess. Slot bot, I think is you spend money to get other things. So it's more like, what do I wanna fight? Do I wanna fight this? When the full attacks, 
Grant their attacking units plus three plus three. Sounds like a nightmare. This one's lighter. We just have to go here. I can't spend money. Oh boy, why did I make this challenge? It's so bad. And yes, they're mowing the lawn like right in front of my spot. <laughs> Hopefully, Mirror Maze doesn't go like absolutely stupid. What are we at right now? We're 21 21. Oh, that's gross. Do you like what you see? Oh dear. That's gross. That's gross. <laughs> Had to pause it because they were like literally like right by my window. All right, so I was thinking about using this, because I'm sure he's gonna play this, and then he's gonna get two of them, and I feel like that's the best option, right? It's even worse. Where's the thing where it moves? So, one, one. That's still two damage, technically, so. Oh my god, we're right back. Right back where we started. The butcher craves blood. Do you like what you see? Something to reflect upon. Nice, lovely. Well, what have we here? The area. Oh, nice. Free kill. That kills her. I got frozen too. Thank you. We have an elusive blocker. This gives me like multiple bodies for one. Here you are. I see you. Me it doesn't matter because I don't have enough HP, right? Oh my god. I even did the, the, the correct play there, I think, by doing that, too. That's the end of our run, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this has Overwhelm, so technically I would. I would do that, and this is the five. Can't Unavoidable five. Nosses takes too much. Get him alive. It, it's kind of crazy to see how, like, how big he can get, but maybe, maybe only two of them and then the bonk, right? Or only two of them and then I have the reduces cost, because... Turn six is, is pretty hefty. Or maybe you do two plunders and then maybe a bounty, bounty thing, like something of that nature. But I wanted to have fun with you guys and I think I accomplished that. I think that this build also would work 120,000 times better on a cheaper champion. Maybe we could try it on Teemo. We could try it on, uh, I don't know who the other level two champions are, but yeah. What do you guys think about the money build? Gnosis is huge with it and he gets, the, he gets all the other stats. It's just really cool. But who do you want me to try the money build on? I'll hold on. Let me let me let's get out of here. I'm done trying. We've gathered what we need to know. Caitlin's thing is actually correct. The crazy part is that it would be a really big investment for me, obviously, to do it because I'd have to get a low-level character to level 30 in order to try this build out. 
And currently, like Nora, I think would be pretty good. Obviously, she's a two cost and she would get really, really big. Uh, it would be interesting to see. It doesn't really mesh well with her, but you know, you can get some really strong builds with just that. Nico would be hilarious because she can transform into another unit. Yumi would also be kind of nuts, right? Because anything I put Yumi on, she would actually just turn into a, whatever that unit would just be turned into an absolute god. I think Yumi would be interesting. I was gonna say, what was it, Diana? I don't, ha I don't know her star powers, but yeah, Diana is a two cost, so she's pretty cheap. Teemo I don't have. I'd have to unlock Teemo and fully invest into him to do that. And Yi, honestly, is not that bad because he just got a, um, a buff to where Yi is now a two cost unit. So Yi would actually be pretty snashty to try it on, if I'm being honest. So you guys let me know. Uh, isn't Jax a two cost too? Jax it might be a little bit easy. You guys let me know who do you want to see the triple money on that I currently have unlocked Annie. You know, she's low cost too. She's a one drop, big gigantic one drop that might be able to scale into the fight. I honestly don't know, but uh, we, we could try we could try it on some other champions that you guys might be interested in. I would love to see it on LeBlanc too. That'd be interesting. She has way cooler builds though, in my opinion. So you guys let me know. I said it like eight times, but I'm out. Peace.